the Lego Deadpool situation just got crazier. Heads up. Hang on. Is this the post credit? Am I seriously the post credit scene? What's going on, everybody? My name is Wiltonger, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to a brand new LEGO Ooh. Marvel video here on the channel. And honestly, I am so incredibly confused about Deadpool. We're going to get to that in just one moment. And yes, sure, that tiny can. little clip that you just saw is actually real. And it was the post credit scene for LEGO Marvel's Avengers Mission Demolition, which is a brand new short film that just dropped on Disney Plus this past weekend. Come on. of that film i will tell you guys i checked it out it's a really really fun short film it's about 42 minutes long or so and it is filled and i mean filled with wonderful easter eggs for all marvel fans whether you are a more recent marvel fan so you're a fan of more of the recent characters that they've been pushing or if you're an older fan and you've been a huge fan of the classic or like you know the original versions of a lot of these characters i genuinely think that you will find some joy in that film i mean the authenticity just simply shines through it's genuinely laugh out loud funny at multiple moments in the actual film so i most definitely do go ahead yeah. and recommend for you to check it out if you were planning to or if you were thinking about checking it out i can definitely give it my stamp of approval like a boss Huzzah. so with that out of the way let's talk about the elephant hey. in the room and that would definitely be deadpool i mean i am just genuinely confused by what the heck is going on with deadpool and lego for those that don't know let me catch you up just most recently we saw both wolverine and deadpool receive brand new skins in the fortnite item shop and when that happened wolverine got himself a counter lego minifig design which the vast majority of characters that are now released in fortnite do end up getting a lego minifigure design to go along with the actual regular skin and guess what then you would go over to switch into deadpool and well it's just simply not there what the heck happened a lot of us were incredibly confused a lot of people then immediately said well it's because lego does not want to work with deadpool since he's a more mature character than a character like wolverine which if you watch Deadpool and Wolverine, I would ask you, like, really? Are you sure about that? You sure about that? I'm the best there is at what I do. At least the people still living after I'm done doing it say that. You sure about that? You sure about that? But nevertheless, if that's the case and that's what the reason was, a lot of us were like, okay, well, I guess it is what it is. I guess Lego is just simply uncomfortable with going ahead and showing off Deadpool at this point in time in a Lego format. However, fast forward a few weeks later, and first of all, there is definitely some more mature themes that are covered in the new piece by piece film. Then we see a Lego most definitely support a Mephisto Lego minifig, which is pretty freaking mature when it comes to characters. And honestly, I would also say that characters like Gwenpool or even Moon Knight, most of the time, at least in the comic book side of things, are involved in pretty mature stories as well. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense as to why Deadpool would be the one that would be ignored. What in the actual... Now, of course, some people did bring up a kind of a valid point, and that is that Deadpool also swears a lot and uses a lot of raunchy language, and that's valid. There really is very few characters that swear as much as Deadpool, so because of that, I was like, okay, maybe that's why LEGO chose to sort of lean away from Deadpool as a whole. But then we get LEGO Marvel Avengers Mission Demolition, where if you finish the movie, you will then find out that the post credit scene features, well, if not the one, the only, the mark with the mouth, Deadpool. Hang on, is this the post credit? Am I seriously the post credit scene? So now I'm just incredibly confused. Are we back on board? Does this mean that Lego Deadpool is actually going to be added into Fortnite eventually as a Lego minifig? And more importantly than even that, does his appearance as part of this special confirm that we will be getting a brand new official Deadpool minifig 
in an upcoming Lego set, because I think that would be pretty freaking exciting. I mean, the fact that this particular design for Deadpool actually seems to be even more comic accurate than anything that we've seen up until now, he even has that little like tail or like, you know, the bagginess of his mask on the top of his head. I just really, really was blown away by the attention to detail. And I most definitely hope that we get this particular Deadpool as an official minifig. In fact, my fellow builders, masters of the minifigs, guardians of the sacred instruction booklets, it is time indeed for us to all come together as a community and gather here today in order to make our plea to one Lego group. Oh, Lego group, please hear us, for we oh so desperately desire the return of the legendary fourth wall breaking, chimichanga loving, sword wielding icon known as Dead Julio back to our Lego sets. Please, oh please, Lego hear us. Please, oh please, return Deadpool back to his lovely minifigure form, and hopefully we will see that sooner rather than later. Or, I mean, I guess technically you could go back and pick up that original Wolverine's Chopper Showdown set, but to be honest, it's kind of obscene how expensive that set has become. I mean, we're talking well over $300 Canadian to actually get this set brand new, which is absolutely bonkers. So hopefully we do end up getting Deadpool appearing in some Lego form soon. And I mean, I guess it's pretty much like what I said before. If you are a Deadpool fan, for now, the cheapest way to quote unquote, like enjoy Deadpool pool in lego form is to just simply play the lego marvel superheroes original video game because not only is deadpool a playable character in that game but he of course also does have a bunch of bonus levels that you could go ahead and enjoy and in addition to that just simply plays a factor throughout the entirety of pretty much every single mission in the campaign where he will appear and pop up for little easter eggs and such so again probably your cheapest way for now to enjoy lego deadpool but let me know what you guys think of the possibility of finally lego deadpool coming back into the lego product lineup i was absolutely blown away by the fact that he was included in this special i mean not only is he in this special by the way so is punisher and daredevil just some really 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 great characters if you have not seen it do yourself a favor go check out the special i don't think you'll be disappointed especially if you're a lego marvel fan and in addition to that let me know down in the comment section below your prediction do you think that we will finally get lego deadpool in an upcoming set let's say in 2025 You're still here. It's over. Go home.